What's up everybody? Just wanted to drop a quick video in response to some figure news, and that news is that Four Horsemen Studios has a new release in their Figura Obscura line, and it's available right now at the time of recording, likely at the time of upload, but it is a very limited release, and so if you want it, and it's available, you should buy it. Uh, and if it's not available, I'm sorry. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Figura Obscura line, it's the line in which Four Horsemen Studios does their own takes on like classical, mythological, legendary, folklore figures, stuff like that. Previous releases have included like Sun Wukong, The Headless Horseman, Santa Claus, um, Krampus. It's kind of a mixed bag at this point uh, between like literary figures like The Mask of Red Death and then like classic folklore. And this most recent release leans more towards the literature side. It's from Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, Frankenstein's Monster. I was a little bit on the edge for getting this guy, but I ultimately did. Uh, but I'll talk about more, I'll talk about that more as we go on. From the promotional pictures that we have, this guy is absolutely fantastic. I really can't deny that. Four Horsemen has like, just done such a great job with like the sculpt and the paint on this guy. You can really just see with how close the pictures are, the shots are on this guy, and like how like detailed and how the paint is like seeped into like the little cracks and crevices and stuff. Just really looks fantastic. It's a little bit of a different take on Frankenstein than I'm personally familiar with. Um, I know that in the books it's quite different than in the movie, but I am more familiar with like the Boris Karloff like version of Frankenstein, that classic monster version. But I do believe that that version is owned by Universal Studios, uh, and I don't think that uh, that Four Horsemen could necessarily do that version. Here we have him in his coat and everything. I think that this is reused from Jacob Marley, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't actually have the Jacob Marley release. We've got some soft good pants, which look absolutely great. And then we also have, uh, just like I said, Four Horsemen's sculpting and everything has just gotten really fantastic. This arm, these arms look really, really good. Uh, they're single jointed, but I'm sure that they'll do anything that you want them to do. We do have the big, chunky, clunky boots that I think that a lot of people are familiar with with Frankenstein, so I am happy that that made it through from the uh, film adaptations of those that character. From the back, not a lot has changed, not a lot different going on here. Um, just uh, looks good. Here we have kind of a different look. We've removed the jacket. Uh, we still have the pants on. It's Like I said, it's really nice that they're soft good. I really enjoy that. Uh, and then we actually have a feet on him rather than those big clunky boots. Moving on, completely different look here. Um, removed the pants and now we've got like a kind of a feral little like cloth rag set going on here. <clears throat> and I do believe that this is reused from the Egyptian God set, but it looks really great on Frankenstein's monster here. Here we have Frankenstein's monster in like the kind of like lab table setup. And I absolutely love this. Really love whoever's taking their pictures because like these, this is just fantastic. This is a really, really awesome shot for like a six inch toy. Um, we see a lot of the accessories that are going on here. We'll go over those a little bit later. I do want to point out like the skeleton in the background as like an anatomical model. And I'm just, man, I missed out on that skeleton army builder that Four Horsemen had. And just seeing him in this picture just makes me really, really feel like I missed out. So like kudos on them for kind of hitting that FOMO on people. Here we've got Frankenstein just kind of like trudging through the snow, more pictures. All these pictures are fantastic. Here he is with the book, Frankenstein's Monster. Um, I do believe in the book, in Mary Shelley's book, I haven't read it, but I do believe that he is actually like really intelligent and he does read and stuff like that. Although like in our classic like movie depictions, he's more like a dumb brute. Um, here he is looking through a window going through the graveyard. I really do love in the background we have a grave that says Shelley and then there's another one I uh, can't really see it because it's behind me here but there's one that says Karloff as well. Really cool. Nice shout out to those two fantastic people. Uh, and then just kind of like some laboratory equipment on the little assistance table here. Here's an overview of all of the items that come with Frankenstein. I'll just move them over so that you guys can see. Uh, just kind of the uh, unimpressed face here with long hair. And the same face with no hair, and uh, an angry face as well with no hair. Uh, do kind of wish that maybe like that long hair angry face was in there too, or that you could swap the hair, but you know, can't complain. Uh, really awesome, just like lab table here. I'm sure I'm gonna use this for something else too. Uh, cool assistance table. Two little glass bell jars for you to hide, or 
for you to display your medical specimens, like this like really cool head that I believe was on Hagnon and probably some of the other undead stuff too, uh, as well as the skull here and the skeleton hand. I'm sure you could swap the skeleton hand onto him, but uh, I don't believe that that's the purpose for that in this set necessarily. Then we have these like two little like uh, oil canisters, four shackles for all of his limbs. That's awesome. The little cloth toga here, two gripping hands. Um, a little bit limited on the hands in my opinion, but again, I really can't complain with all the accessories that we have going on here. And it is Frankenstein, I guess he's not necessarily going to come with like trigger hands or something like that. Uh, two feet for you to swap out for those clunky boots if you want to. Three books, and then two pieces of like lab equipment. I think that this is some sort of maybe like electrical coil. Although I don't know if electricity is necessarily like involved in the uh, Mary Shelley book in his reanimation, but I'm not sure. Uh, and then some sort of hand cranked generator here. Just a really fantastic release and like it's one of those things that's like I was a little bit hesitant on it but when I saw all of the accessories I just I knew I had to have it man because I'm just I'm a sucker for accessories especially some as cool and as interesting as this and I I just know I know I can use some of this stuff in like other dioramas and other other displays and stuff like that really fantastic but the reason that I was kind of holding out was that Four Horsemen Studios does have a past of re-releasing these limited figures as retailer exclusives. So they have like their version, and this is their version. It's going to sell out, and then it's then it's gone. It's gone forever. But if you did miss this version, or if you prefer another version, they're likely going to have a, a different version that's a different colorway for retailers. And so what that'll entail is the retailers will get a different version of this figure, likely with all the same accessories and stuff, but a different color or a different, um, just somehow a different version. Um, and with Krampus, they released, Four Horsemen released a black Krampus, and then they, they released a red Krampus through retailers. Everything was the same, it was just a different color. They released a red Santa through themselves, and then a green Santa through uh, retailers. They had the Headless Horseman, which was like a normal, a normal Headless Horseman with red flames, and then they released a Green Flame Headless Horseman through retailers. So the only reason that I was kind of kind of hesitant on this guy, kind of going back and forth, is because personally for me, I really like a green rotting Frankenstein. And maybe maybe that's just kind of a relic of like the old cinematic depiction that I was talking about. But I just really, that iconic like green monster is just awesome to me. And while I love that this guy, I love the, the sculpt and the paint and the color on this guy and everything, um, if he was green, man, that would just kill it for me. And so that, that, that was my holdback is just, if I wait a couple months, maybe probably up to a year, I might get a green one. But I did have to pull the trigger on this. When I saw all the accessories, when I saw everything, I just, I knew I couldn't wait on him. So I did get him. He'll be shipping out early next week, I think. And if they do a green one, I'll have to get a green one too. Clearly, I have no self-control when it comes to figures, so 